We're learning more tonight about how new advancements in DNA technology is linking a suspect to a 20-year-old murder. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane has been covering the trial and explains why this case is so unique. When Deborah Dalzell was raped and murdered in her Sarasota home in 1999, there were no witnesses, no suspects, and no answers. But 20 years later, and with new technology, DNA experts testified today that they were able to use DNA found on Delzell's body to make a complete match to Luke Fleming, who lived less than a mile from Dalzell during the time of the murder. I then compared that DNA profile that I obtained from the buckle swab from Mr. Fleming to the DNA profile from the uh, possible semen from Deborah Dalzell's right thigh. And in comparing the two profiles, I did get a complete match. So essentially, if I were to have a 6.0 sextillion unrelated individuals in, to choose from, I would only expect to observe this DNA profile once. Experts also testified the DNA found on the white T-shirt around Dalzell's neck was likely Fleming's. That's correct. At this time, DNA evidence is all the prosecution is using to link Fleming to Dalzell. The defense, who has yet to present their case, asked questions trying to present reasonable doubt. And there was no liquid in the tubes. That's correct. Okay. And you don't know how that happened. I do not know. The case is expected to wrap up on Thursday. In Sarasota, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.